Hi everyone. So I just wanted to share Vesper's tank upgrade. He was in a 10 gallon with seven black neon tetras. Let's see if I have some footage of the old tank. The black neons are starting to get bigger and getting really voracious at feeding time, making it difficult to get food to Vesper, who is probably resting up in this plant somewhere. Yep. Vesper hardly ever uses his hammock anymore because he likes that radican sword, and apparently this guy thinks he's about a... <laughs> So here is Vesper, resting in his radican sword. This tank just has stock LEDs that came with the hood. Um, you can get more light out of stock LEDs by using a light colored substrate. It's just a tip um, because it reflects the light back up at the plants. So I added um, this African fern, African water fern. Asian water fern, I'm sorry, which is a bulbitis, um, and I've just kind of set it in the tank. Uh, it's a rhizome plant, so um, it's just kind of floating in there. My idea for the concept of this tank was just to have like a light and dark contrast type of thing going on, and I had these dark purple silk plants. The two that are really dark were in his old tank, and I bought some more, and they're kind of ultraviolet looking. I'm not super crazy about that. I'm hoping they will darken up over time. The big piece of wood there is new. This right here, this Anubius Nana Petite, is actually my very first aquarium plant ever. I've had it for a year and a half maybe and it's about twice the size as it was when I bought it. This is my second attempt at trying to grow this golden Nisea. Um, so this stem here that's starting to get some submerged growth on it, I started in a different tank and I'm trying to convert some of it in this tank. Um, this one there is getting a little bit of summer growth coming out of the top. So I hope I will have luck with it this time because it's a really pretty plant. Here's my big zebra nary snail. He's from the old tank as well. I added the sword plant. I don't know the species name for that. The Rotala indica there came from a different tank. Yeah, we love to chase the neons. He doesn't ever hurt them though, which is good. The water wisteria is new. There's some more golden Nisea there. The Radican sword is new. Uh, there's a little bit of dwarf baby tears I added from another tank, just to see if I could grow it in here. And Myriophyllum in the corner here was in his old tank. He's got a bee in his bonnet right now. Yes, you do. You have a bee in your bonnet. <laughs> that banana plant, I can't get it to sink, like, no matter what I do to it. I've tried tying it down, and the root that I, um, or little rhizome piece, 
that I anchored the thread around rotted, so I'm not going to do that again. There are six neon tetras in here, or not neon tetras, black neon tetras in here right now. The seventh one I have here in this hospital tank. I am treating him for like a fungus type thing. Uh, he's gotten a lot better. You can see that slightly like light colored bit that's still up near his dorsal fin on his back. That's pretty much all he has left of the fungus. So I think his treatment's going really well. And hopefully I can put him back in the main tank soon. Luckily none of the other ones have shown any signs of that fungus. Not sure what it is. Um, I'm just using Ickax on it. And I took him out like the second I saw it, so hopefully that has prevented it from spreading to the others. Yeah, I just wanted to share his new tank upgrade. Everyone is having a great day and thank you so much for watching.